Hello, I'm glad you joined me today for what is going to be a bridge class. Just using my own body weight, I need a mat, enough room to move about in. Do have a bottle of water as well. We'll be going on a 45-15 circuit and we're using all different sorts of planks and bridges to get a really good workout, especially on our core, but also using our legs, using our arms. Okay, if we're all ready to go, just get me those and we're just going to start with that warm up in four, three, two, one. I'm going to take that roll. Yeah, then I'm going to roll on the other side. So just straight legs, just bringing that top half down and getting that stretch out on the back. Lovely, good. I'm going to lean forward. And then coming back up, I've got straight legs, so really keep that sip and hollow on. Lovely. I'm going to do a squat here. Squat, knee up, squat. That knee drives straight to the front. Push it up. Feel that hip flexor working for you. Lovely, good. Just roll it round underneath you. It's like a backward cycle. Lovely, good. Now I'm going to do a little reach up. Rib cage down and in. Feel that core is already working for you. Lovely, across the front. Little reach out. Little turn of the hip as well. Feel that your obliques are working for you. As you get that reach out, keep your shoulders back and down and let that reach out. Get four, three, two. Squat here, leg up to the side and give me that raise. Lovely, down and up. I'm going to take a step leg curl. Just feel you get that little stretch out front to thighs as you come over your pecs. Do me that cross at the front. So it's nice and strong. Feel your rib cage down and in. Your shoulder blades pull down and in. Lovely. I'm just going to point the toe. Open out the chest there. Long straight arms. Opening up at the ankle. Little step touch here, out with those arms, grab that air, pull it back in. Good. Just dropping down through the legs. Get that all ready. Four, three, two, one, and well done. Lovely, good. Okay, we're onto the floor. So I'm going to bring the timer with me. 45 on, 15 off. On my first one, it's going to be a face up bridge with my foot planted right underneath my knee. Okay, so I'm here on one leg and just doing that pushing up and down, glute and hamstring working for me. Okay, are we ready to go? We're going to go in five, three, two, one. Hands just across your chest if you want to, or if you need to, have them just down by your side. Squeeze through. Feel that hamstring and glute work for you all the time. Your zip and hollow is on, so don't let this other hip, the one without the leg, support it on the floor. Don't let that fall to the floor. Keep it even. Lovely, good. I'm going to stay with that leg. Now I can leave the other leg across here, or you can put it up. I'm going to put the same arm to leg here. So again, there's a lot of work here for that structure. And then I'm going to use my obliques to get my elbow up and across. So squeeze it. Lovely, good. So that leg still really has to work for me on that hamstring, on that glute. Squeeze it across. Lovely, keeping your bridge the same height each time. Don't let that bridge come down. Just 
squeezing it across. Three, two, one. Good work, well done. Foot right underneath my knee, the other leg across it. Get a little stretch out on my glute this time. And we come up, it's just the up and down. Hands can be down by your side, they can be across your chest if you want them to be. And then you get that push up. Really feel that that space between your shoulders and your heel does not move. So I'm not trying to over arch my back. I've got my zip and hollow on, I want my bridge to stay the same height so I know my hips are even. And then I get that push through that leg. that glute, putting it in the hamstring as well to get that really strong movement and well done, lovely, good. Next one, legs still across or if I want to, the leg then comes up, still get that drop through. Lovely, good. So leg up, other hand behind my head and up it comes, just coming across and keeping that bridge up all the time. up and across. Hips staying even, not drooping down, so really push through that other foot, make it work for you. Good work, well done. I'm going to come up, my hands anywhere that you like it to be, shoulders back and down, I'm going to swing through for a bridge. So I'm here, then when the beeps go, like this, I'm going to take my bottom off the floor, I'm going to come up and I'm going to push through. So again, my work is on my shoulders. Lovely, good, get that push through for me. Coming up. Feel those glutes work for you at the end. Weight is over your shoulders, you get a nice upright bridge there, supported by your hands, supported by your feet. Lovely, good. On my next one, it is going to be triceps, so it is going to be a drop and a lift through my elbows, not through my mid half. So my bridge this time is just with my bottom off the floor, my shoulders back and down. Here we go, off the floor, my bottom touches the floor and then comes back up again, but it's all done with the arms. Do not let your bottom go up and down, I feel that's what the work is. The work is all in the arms, so you really feel it on your triceps here. Lovely, good. You can do this with the bottom on the floor, as long as you remember to come up and lock the elbows. Otherwise, go for your challenge, get that bottom, drop to the floor and up. Good, push through those elbows. Lovely, good. Give those arms a little bit of a shake and then we do that little circuit again. So through up onto your bridge, really working that glutes and hamstrings to get up, your shoulders to keep you supported. Hands can be wherever is comfortable for you. My bottom goes through first of all, so there's the shoulder work. Here's still the shoulder work as I get that lift and I get that squeeze. Lovely, good, and coming up.
Well done. Ready for your next tricep dip. You can have your bottom on the floor. Better if it's off because then you are lifting your weight each time. Okay, hands up towards you. Elbows just slightly bent back for now. We come up, we bend those elbows and that bottom just touches the floor. Lovely, good, and push up. I've got no need to lift my hips as well. It's all about the arms. Lovely, good. I certainly feel it in the second time round. Your feet can be out further if you want to, up to you. Just don't have them too close because you might be tempted to push through the feet instead of the arms. It's all about the arms. Lovely, good, and push up. And good work, well done, lovely. We are moving on onto our sides. I'm straight through, elbow and shoulder in line. Straight through my hips there, bottom leg bent, don't have it too far out. I'm gonna come up and down on my first one. It's just going to be a normal up and down bridge. Just getting used to that feeling of that work that's all underneath here for me. left. That work, you may feel it in the shoulders. That was the area we just worked with that bridge coming up. Lovely, good. I'm just coming to the other side. Get that straight positioning. Elbow. I'm not sinking here in what I call like a hammock. It's nice and straight. And Anywhere you like, flat. Good, get me that lift. My hip just touches the floor and then comes back off again. Time. Feel that your hips are under control though. Ten to go. Good work. I'm going to stay on this side. Three, two, one. Good work. Knees this time do come to the front. I'm in a shorter bridge. I'm going to come up and I'm going to open up as an oyster on this top leg. So core definitely pulled in the whole time on this. I'm up. Toes are together, heels are apart, so I'm really working that glute, all of that glute, getting it up there. My underside is helping me to stay up. And I'm feeling that weight going through the bottom of that leg, through my oblique here, it is tight, keep me supported, and then through the arm as well. That'll be good, give me that lift. Good work, well done. On to the other side, into that oyster shape. So my knees are forward, elbow and shoulder in line, toes together, heels apart. Then I come up in that bridge, I hold that bridge while my glute does that oyster for me. Lovely, good, my sip and hollow is on. Get that lift. Core definitely pulled in 
and good work, well done. I'm staying on this side. So I start up and long. As I drop, I squeeze it in. I don't bend to look at it. I don't change the angle of my back. So my core is really working for me here. Long extension on each end as I drop down and then up. get long but that rib cage stays down and in even though your arms going over the head remember belly button pulled into spine I get that lat pull down to get that elbow to that thigh whilst keeping a really straight back the whole time lovely good squeezing it down and up nice and smooth movement the whole time good work on to the other side So again, just keeping it nice and secure here, getting that long length, I start long and up and then I do that drop and then that out. All the time that underside is really keeping me focused, getting up and down so those obliques are working for me in that stability section. On the top half, I've got a little squeeze there going on as it comes down and comes in. Lovely good, and that movement, nice and smooth. Lovely good, and get that lift. Good work, well done. My next one, I'm staying on that side bridge and it's just gonna be a scoot under. So I keep the bridge up the whole time, and then I use my obliques on the other side, not only to support me, but to squeeze under as well. Here we go. Squeezing it under, and come up. Now use this up as a real squeeze. Get your elbow back. Do not be tempted to lift your arm. We're not doing that. It's a squeeze back with that elbow. Really get it to work for you. Lovely, good. And squeeze back. Yeah, how are we doing? It's hard work, especially when you've done one already on this side. Lovely girl, but really keep that concentration up. Feel those underside work for you. Three, two, one, well done. Okay, over to the other side. I'm long, I stay up the whole time. I scoot it under, I'm my top turns, and I do try and look at my forearm here, and then squeeze and then look at the front. Lovely, good. my front bridges so I'm just going to take a little bit of water break remember take your water whenever you want to keep hydrated don't wait until you get thirsty we're doing a front bridge what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the bear I regard that as a front bridge we're on our hands for the moment we're on our knees we've got our toes tucked under now it's quite a tough exercise so if you just want to do one aspect of it, you can. I'm going to do a, a hand and a foot, and then a foot and then a hand, and my mother hand, foot, foot, hand. And that's the way that I'm going to go, keeping my nice box shape facing downwards all the time. If you feel you just want to do one of those, you can. Okay, so I'm here, hands underneath my shoulders, knees underneath my hips. I'm in a nice square little box. Don't let those knees go back too far. 
Tuck your toes under, take your knees off the floor. One hand, one foot. One foot, one hand. Hand, foot, foot, hand. Hand, foot, foot, hand. Feel that work. Building up on the fronts of the thighs there, but also you can feel it through the core. Feel like that's that hand, then the foot, then the foot goes back, the hand goes back, and you end up in a nice little box there. Lovely, good. Three, two, one. Good work, well done. I'm going to stay here, hand behind my head, and I'm going to do the bird dog. There's a little bit of movement here, but really feel you're going to kick back with that glute, helping you, your hips to the front there, they come down, they go together, and then they come out. So I'm getting a little bit of oblique movement going on. Remember which arm and leg you did? Next time it'll be the other way around. Underneath and then out. Lovely, good. I'm adding the third one to this, and that's going to be a long leg out. I'm going to use the same leg that's just gone out, and then I'm going to lift it using my glute. My zip and hollow stays on. I can't move my hip with it. I have to use my inner thigh. So it becomes a lift. Squeeze over, up and back. Lovely, good. Don't let yourself elongate on the side where the leg is coming from. So from here, I really keep my zip and hollow on. Elbows just very slightly bent, so I've got that low centre of gravity. Don't take my hips with it. If there was, remember headlights on your hip bones, they're still both facing towards the floor. So really keep your zip and hollow on. Work is building up also on this other glute here, the one that stabilises me. Lovely, good. Then I come back and I'm going to do that bare one again. So remember hand and then foot, foot and then hand, unless you just want to do one hand, then the other, or one foot, then the other. That is fine, but challenge yourself all the same. Toes tucked under, knees come off. Hand, foot, foot, hand, hand, foot, foot, hand. bring me in and again my core keeping me nice and steady as that leg kicks out gets the most out of that glute work really lengthening on that leg lovely good really kicking out with that foot you feel that glute and that hamstring working for you, core the whole time, and getting that arm across and curling under. Three, two, one, good work. Same leg, it's going to do that lift and it's going to do that half rainbow over to the other side, that arc, and using my inner thigh and my glute. 
Core's keep pulled in, elbows slightly back. It comes up and over, and then back down and in. Lovely, good. Feel that work building up on the other glutes as well. It's keeping me nice and steady, square on that knee. Shoulders down, I'm long in the neck. I've got 15 seconds to go. Just getting that squeeze over each time. Good work, well done. We're going to stay on our fronts though, and we're going to go into an inclined bridge. And I'm going to be touching my shoulder, touching my shoulder, and my core is really going to help me here. So just two more exercises left, and then we are done. Okay, so I'm back here. My knees are slightly wider than my hips. I'm going to do a touch and a touch. Now, if you want to, you can come up. But the important thing here is you do feel the work shifting over from one side than the other. But what I don't want to do is that the hips start to roll. So if you feel your hips start to roll in this position, put your knees down, really keep your zip and hollow on, and then just feel that you can transfer it each time. Lovely, good. Penultimate exercise now. Just one more left after this. Good work, well done. On my last one, gonna be Rainbow Bridge. So again, I'm gonna be on my toes, on my elbows, my hips, drawing a rainbow each time. So they're kept fairly low. Here we go. Now here, just dropping through. If you feel that you start to go back with your toes, just shuffle it forward again, so you keep it under control the whole time. And there will be work going through those arms. Good, so really keep that zip and hollow on. Don't let your hips take over. They are drawing that low, rainbow shape. My shoulders are staying absolutely constant. Lovely, good. Just getting that hip down each side. Last few seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And well done. You are done. We're coming off that timer. I'm going to stay here. I'm just going to sit back. If you feel that you can't sit back, you don't want to open your knees out, just really reach forward with the arms. If you can, sit back, put your forehead near the floor and stretch out that upper half so you get that length through the spine. Lovely, good. I'm going to come up. I'm just going to have my hands down on my lower back there. Squeeze my elbows together, shoulders are low, and really feel the open out the chest on that one. Lovely, good. Then we're going to come to sitting on the floor. I'm going to do my hamstring first, sit on the leg wherever is comfortable, and I'm just reaching down. Try not to drop the head too quickly. Feel that it's from the hip that you go. So you get that long length on the leg. Putting yourself down, you can hold onto your laces, whatever you like, and then pull yourself down over that. Okay, I'm going to leave that leg out. Glute worked hard for me at the beginning there. Okay, up and turn. So again, I am getting a little bit of a stretch out over my obliques here, but also keeping that pressure on that knee going over. Lovely, good. That leg goes out, and then I pull down the top of it. Good, then the other leg goes over, holding on to it, and get that turn. So really feel you've opened out the chest on that side. Those picks were working for us on those front bridges.
Lovely good. I'm going to come over onto my knees. Back into my little bunny hop here. Drop me down. Onto my heels. Let my head hang. And slowly unroll and coming up. Just roll those shoulders around. I'm just going to do a quick little push out to the back there. Get me that lift. Stretching out through the rib cage and then down. Feel like you're really straight all the way down into that heel. <coughs> That'd be good. On the other side, dropping down, I just soften that front leg. It feels like I'm going forward with that front leg. Then my tricep as well. That'd be good. One swoosh through. Here we go, then swoosh through. And up and reach. Really reaching up all the way and then bring it down into the front. Just give it a little stretch off. Okay, very well done. I hope you enjoyed that. Again, it's quite intense even using your own body weight. But again, it's about that repetition. It's about really getting to use all those different muscle groups and your core helping you the whole time. Hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed teaching it to you. And I'll see you again next time. Okay, bye-bye for now.